Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. As a part of our Charles Proxy series, today we'll be looking into another module that is throttling. We will be looking into throttle module in details and look it in terms of demo on a mobile application. So let's begin. So here I have opened Charles Proxy and we are going to check the throttling. So you can see my mobile device is already connected. Whenever I launch the application, I'll just remove the instance and launch it again. And you can see the mountain basket APIs for this particular application are fetched here by Charles Proxy. So what we what are we going to achieve here is if you go to the chart section you will see the time taken for this particular API to load. So that is just 591 microseconds or milliseconds. Here if you come by in the request or in the response section and we go to headers, here also we get a proper date about what is the time when this was executed. Now, what are we going to achieve with respect to throttling? So firstly, this is the simple symbol for throttling or this is the position from where we can enable throttling. If you just navigate, like if you just go to proxy and if you go to throttle settings, here you will see, I'll just enable it. And here you will see there are different types of network bandwidths available. So through throttling, we can change the network data or the network speed through which the api is executing usually what happens after the application is developed and when we have to check the performance of the application in low network areas so in that case if you want to generate that through our testing labs or the development labs we can use throttling so here you can clearly see the throttling is giving us various options like starting from 56 kbps to 4g so if you just want to do it using this particular settings we can just navigate or we can just change this settings and the same will be applicable for our application so suppose currently we are keeping 56 kbps and we'll just say okay here on whenever anything like as we are proxying our application so any page when we are opening you will see now the same page like here if you see the page was loaded in 591 ms now if you see it is taking around 1.8 seconds so here it was in 591 milliseconds here it is 1.8 seconds also if we check the get app text api it was in 234 milliseconds and here we will see it is 1.3 milliseconds so alternatively the duration in which this particular api was load has increased similarly you can just justify or you can just check the behavior of your application when this particular api loads in this particular time frame so here what all changes we can do we'll just go through it and how we can configure that also we'll see for now i'll just close this and what i want is i want this particular application to be monitored through throttling speed rest of the apis or rest of the applications i don't want it to be affected so for now we'll just clear this i'll relaunch this application so that we'll have a clear image of apis which are loading here as we are already aware now there are two apis which get loaded with the home page that is new home page and get app text so here let's go to proxy and we will enable or we'll just select enable throttling and we will select a section that is only for selected hosts here if we click and if we add you will see there are three options which is it is asking so we'll select http here and in this host we will give the host name which we already have i'll i'll show you from where we can check this so for us it is if you just see this is our host anyway so it is mountain basket dot in so we'll just pass this for port we'll keep it empty it will take a default port 
we'll just say okay and here also we'll mark okay so now what will happen this particular icon or this particular section has got enabled now what will happen whenever we are loading anything with respect to mountain basket it will be enabled in throttling and the speed which is mapped here will be applied that is 56 kbps so we will just try to perform actions on our mountain basket application and you will see now the time limit has increased right similarly if you just want to change the settings and check so i'll just stop throttling i'll go to throttle settings and here we will say we don't want to use the one which is present i just want to set it to 9.6 kbps i'll say okay and let's see what is the behavior now so we can see the previous load time was 1.8 will go for new home page that was 1.8 seconds and let's launch the application again for the api to load and now you will see the time has increased from 1.8 seconds to around 9.5 seconds and still the page was loaded successfully without any issues usually when you encounter such applications or when you encounter such behaviors you will see that your application is not loading or few of the images are not able to load and there is some caching issue with respect to the application when the speed of the application is slow also if you are performing any transactions like suppose i am navigating to Pahadi serials and here also the same bandwidth is applied so what will be the behavior right so these things we can clearly check you can see this particular apis are still loading as it is taking time and here my web page has redirected but the items of the web page are still not loaded because this particular two apis are still in progress right so this is the inclination or now the page is loaded so this is the inclination or this is the behavior you will see in the apis when you are going to perform the testing using throttling or setting up a speed for the API using throttling. Now you can see here, if you go to throttle settings, here we had enabled throttling for this particular URL. So it has been applicable for this particular application that is mountain basket. Whenever you open any other application, like suppose play is opened here. So that won't get affected to this other application. So here, the web page or the urls will be loaded instantly okay here it has no impact on how and what the pages are loading right so this particular application or this particular throttling will only be applied for the application which we have looped in here so if you want to remove that and have it applicable for everything you can just click on this or we can just click on this and here you can say okay and then if you go to selecting any application or opening any other application you will see now the time limit or the page loading time for this application has also increased so this is the way in which you can actually use throttling and if you go to settings even if we go through all the options so let's look on the options here firstly the option is about bandwidth so at what bandwidth we have to set the throttling or on what speed we have to set the throttling that is displayed here secondly we have utilization so what percentage of utilization of this bandwidth should be applicable to download and should be applicable to upload that is present here next we have the latency we have mtu in terms of bytes then the reliability stability so how far the reliability and stability of the downloading should be working or uploading should be working is present here and the quality of the application so these things also you can check if you feel that at a particular network speed the quality of the application should be 50 percent so here you can just set it up to 50 percent in terms of download in terms of upload right and that will be applied so this is how the throttling settings can be changed and you can verify your 
behavior of the application using this particular network speed indexing so that was about throttle module in details stay tuned for next module of charles proxy don't forget to subscribe non functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you